I may be the world's tiniest shark right now, but not for long. Hello everybody, I'm Kindly Kid and welcome back to Tasty Blue. Today I'm a genetically engineered nano shark. That's right, the world's smallest shark ever. However, as you can see from this very strange looking scientist man, who has no eyes, my creation will grow faster and bigger than the other creatures, and eat them. Save us, Nano Shark. Something tells me Nano Shark is going to do the opposite of save us, but here we go. I am Nano Shark, and I am going to eat literal plankton. Just very, very tiny microbes. And this is how my life begins as a very tiny shark that grows very, very fast. This is going to be awesome. I, I know it for a fact. Mm. Oh, the shark just said, hmm. Yes, it is safe to say that this shark is growing at an alarming rate. And I like it. <laughs> this is going to be so good. Oh, my goodness. Oh, we've got slightly larger forms of plankton. They're no longer single cell amoebas. Okay, sweet. We're moving up on the food chain and life is good. Oh my gosh, that thing is terrifying looking. <laughs> oh my goodness. Even though all of these creatures can only be seen under a microscope, when you are the size of them, they are truly terrifying. Oh baby, we're eating, I, what, what did we just eat? Zooplankton. All of this stuff is called zooplankton. <laughs> okay. Slightly larger zooplankton that has tendrils, which I didn't necessarily like saying. The word tendrils. Oh my goodness. Is that krill? I think that might be krill and it is very scary looking. These are actually aliens and they are everywhere. There are aliens living around us. I hate how their heads are like translucent. It's so weird. Oh, I can eat them. What are they? Was I right? No, they're just, they're still called zooplankton. Okay. They're just purple zooplankton. Sure. Oh, okay. Maybe that's krill. I don't know anymore. All I know is I'm scared of that thing. I feel like if a Roomba had legs, it would look like that. And I don't like it. I can eat you. Uh, that was Krill. Okay. <laughs> I knew we'd get to Krill eventually. Oh my goodness. I think that's a shrimp. And that's a big boy. That's the biggest shrimp I've ever seen. I'm not going to lie. Eating all this Krill so quickly is incredibly satisfying. There's just so much. <laughs> this game is so good. I love it. You think we can eat the giant shrimp? No, we cannot. Okay, never mind. We'll get there. We are nano shark, but not so nano anymore. I don't think you'd need a microscope to see this shark. Although if you did see a very tiny shark, I don't know if I'd be more threatened by it than a normal size shark. Obviously it can't eat me, which a normal size shark can, but at the same time, like a super tiny shark, that's kind of unsettling. Oh, I can eat you. Get over here. <laughs> that was a prawn, okay. So my whole shrimp joke doesn't even work anymore. We're nearly done with our first shark level and we've moved on to slightly larger than a prawn, which means we can start eating fish soon. So that's pretty exciting. Oh, I can eat the smaller fish now. Oh, now we're talking. Okay. Oh, you better watch out, salmon. Nano shark is here <laughs> and he's growing at an alarming pace. Mmm. Oh boy. Okay. Yep. There you go. Level one completed. Two stars. I'll take it. Penguin slide? I have to eat penguin? Oh my gosh. I have to eat 30 penguins while sliding down this hill. How did I get to the top of this hill? That's what I'm confused about. Also, the noise that these penguins make when I eat them is very upsetting. But nano sharks gotta do what nano sharks gotta do, okay? I'm sorry. Is this all I do? I'm not even doing anything. I'm just holding the control stick forward. <laughs> all right, simple enough. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of penguins. They're all dead, all of them. 
I'll take my three stars and move on. Mega Nano Shark. That sounds amazing. My time has come to become the creature that I always knew I could be, which is a giant Nano Shark. Let's make this happen. And of course, every Nano Shark adventure begins with eating salmon. Oh, and now we're eating penguins. <laughs> the sounds of the penguins. It's kind of making me a little sad, but at the same time, I must eat them. Also, the puffins. Oh, I feel really bad about eating the puffins. My son Seth watches this really cute show called Puffin Rock, and the puffins are so sweet, and I'm eating all of them now, and it feels kind of bad, but you know, a nano shark's gotta do what a nano shark's gotta do. Sorry, puffins. Ooh, barrels. Let's eat some barrels. Yum. Fiber. Can I eat polar bears yet? No, I can't eat the polar bears. Okay. It's not like polar bears are an endangered species that I should be protecting, but instead I'm eating them. Sorry, polar bears. Again, Nano Shark gotta do what Nano Shark gotta do. <laughs> Squid! Yum. Nano Shark is getting real big. Ow! Okay, don't jump into helicopter blades. That's a good lesson. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> this game is so good. That's good. That's good. <laughs> oh my gosh. Talking nano shark. There's something unsettling about that for sure. And of course, we're gonna eat more puffins That's today. Good. Welcome to Puffin Rock, where nano shark eats all of them. I'm so sorry, puffins. We can eat penguins now. And of course, they're gonna let out those very sad squeaks as we eat them, as they do. <laughs> Yum. Tasty. Couldn't have said it better myself, Nano Shark. It is tasty. What in the world? Those rafts make some weird noises when I eat them. <gasps> Oh yeah, level complete. Am I gonna eat icebergs in this level? Look at these icebergs. Okay, I guess we gotta get there though. First I gotta eat some squid and avoid getting eaten by these whales, oh my gosh. Oh, I can eat the whales now. <laughs> okay, you guys thought you were so tough, but look at you now, getting eaten by Nano Shark. And what does Nano Shark have to say for himself? He just says, tasty. I just ate an iceberg. <laughs> All right. And we got some helicopters to chomp down on as well. Oh my gosh, that's a big jet. Okay. I can eat the jets. Come back. Oh my god. There's something real satisfying about just grabbing a jumbo jet out of the sky and chomping it into nothing. I am Nano Shark. Hear me roar. Um. Can we talk about how I'm being chased by my previous counterparts that I played as? The goldfish and the dolphin are chasing <laughs> Wait a second. I think I understand why the scientist created Nano Shark. He created Nano Shark to stop the giant goldfish and the giant dolphin. Here's the problem. Nano Shark is gonna get bigger than them, and then who's gonna stop Nano Shark? Didn't think that one through, did you, Mr. Smart Scientist guy? Oh man. All right. Well, let's do what Nano Shark does, and of course, that's eat and avoid getting eaten by dolphins and goldfish that have gotten way too big for their own good. Okay, there we go. And we got a few icebergs here and there that we can chomp down on. It'd be really nice if I could eat these tanks. Can't quite eat them yet. Okay, Mr. Goldfish, back off. Okay, I can eat the tankers now. This is going to help quite a bit in eating. Oh my gosh, goodbye. Goodbye. I've eaten the creatures that I started out in this game as. Feels kind of bad. I put so much time and effort into growing those creatures into something that I could be proud of. And then Nano Shark comes along and chomps them down in what four minutes it took four minutes you're too powerful nano shark someone needs to stop you oh wait nobody can unless we create another terrifying creature that grows at an alarming rate there's still more levels though what is this what am what 
in the world is happening right now. I am a shark sliding down a mountain, racing whales. What? <laughs> it's, it's level. Oh, I can eat the whales now. Oh, okay. Sure. Oh, yeah. That was a super weird level. And I liked it. And look at us. We're back to little itty bitty tiny shark. But of course, as you guys know, Nano Shark does not stay so Nano for long. Let's see where Nano Shark's story ends. And we'll take it one amoeba at a time. That's good. That's good. As you can see, I've gotten a little bit bigger since the last time you saw me. And my friends are back. Problem is, they're trying to eat me, so maybe they're not my friends. So, of course, as Nano Shark does, I'm going to eat, and then eventually I'm going to eat them. I'm happy to see you guys again, and I'm sorry that I'm going to have to eat you guys again. Oh, goldfish friend. Goodbye. Dolphin friend. Goodbye. But we're still going. Nano Shark is still hungry. So Nano Shark is gonna do what he does best. And that, of course, is eat. When will Nano Shark be satisfied? What is this? I'm. I'm eating the ground? Um. Oh my gosh. What in the world? I'm eating into the core of the earth? This is insanity. Oh my gosh. Nano Shark, you must be stopped. <laughs> You've gotten too far. Oh my goodness. This is insane. Um, yeah, I am definitely eating to the center of the earth. Oh. No. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> this is insane. I don't know what to say. I'm going to eat the, the center of the earth. I'm, I am going to eat the core of earth. I just, I just ate earth and then I ate the moon as if eating earth wasn't enough. Nano shark ate too much. Yeah, you think? It should have stopped eating when we flipped the failsafe switch. Why didn't the failsafe work? What chewed through this wire? It was a penguin. A penguin wanted Nano Shark to eat the entire universe, apparently. And that's precisely what happened. There are bonus levels? We'll have to save those for the future. If there is a future after Nano Shark eats the entire universe, bummer.